everyone this is Ross and today I am showing you all a very well highly anticipated fig called Moscatel Preto this fig right here that you're looking at it was originally found by uh, Nelson and Nelson my buddy Nelson he uh, got this tree I believe from his dad's neighbor and his dad's neighbor originated um, in Portugal and got his tree from northern Portugal, brought this over to the, uh, probably Canada. And then from there, in Canada, he's been spreading this variety around the United States. And I've been lucky enough to have it and find it. It seems like a quite a reliable variety. It grows quite quickly. It ripens here without a head start. And it puts out pretty sizable figs, as you can see here. This is a really large. I think they're much larger because I have fewer figs on my tree this year. This is about a. Uh, this is a large fig. This is not mid-sized. This is actually quite large. Let me focus the camera here for you guys. There we go. But you can see there's plenty of honey right there. See that on the bag. This fig is just spurting out honey everywhere. So let's try it. I'm very anxious to eat this because I got one last year that uh, was quite waterlogged. My tree grew an insane amount last year. And I've been told by Nelson that the tree just takes a little bit of time to uh, mature. But once it does, it really starts pumping out the figs. Put you guys down to get this bag off. feels great. Uh, I have high hopes that this one's perfectly ripe. So let me show you guys the fig now. Um, I'm not sure entirely on the cold hardiness, but you can see that the eye on this one is pretty open. Maybe it's uh, blocked by some honey there. Again, a large, medium to large size fig ripens here in Pennsylvania without a head start. According to my friend Jamie, I believe she says it's quite rain resistant. She's also in Pennsylvania. Very humid where we both live. Uh, let's cut this tree open. Or this, uh, this fig open. I don't want to be cutting the tree, that's for sure. Oh boy. This looks real good. I can already tell by the color. The fig here that you see will either be a complex berry fig or it will have a fruity berry taste. And you can tell it's quite sweet because there's honey all over the place. This fig looks like it's going to be something special for sure. Let's try it. Pretty nice complex berry flavor, I have to say. It has a complex berry flavor that rivals Ronde, Ronde Bordeaux, uh, Grise de Saint Jean. What other complex berry figs do I have? I've had one recently that I'm, I'm blanking on, but very, very good berry flavor. Very sweet. There's a lot of fig. This is a top tier variety, guys. In terms of taste, this is an 8 out of 10. I don't think I can give it a 9 just yet, but it's a, a very strong 8 for me. Really, really good. Anyway, everyone, this fig is um, kind of making its way around the United States now. So if you can't find this fig, I don't blame you. But if you do find this fig, great job. Um, it's definitely something to, to, you know, worthwhile having. In fact, I may make a second copy of that. I don't know. But I will have cuttings of this one for sale probably at the end of this year. Um, I definitely recommend it. So 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was Moscatel Preto, a Portuguese fig. Take care.